All right, good morning folks. We are in the Jeep. We are getting ready to roll. It's a Tuesday morning. Uh, usually don't shoot this early in the morning, but we had rain and snow overnight depending on elevation. So figured it might make an interesting day of uh, filming to see where it snowed and where it did not snow. Um, up on 81, I'm sure it did, but some of the other higher elevations might have. And even when we're in the valley floor, maybe some of the mountains will be white while the valley floor will be green. We'll see uh, what we encounter today. So uh, we're about to get rolling, and once we get in the truck, get some daylight, or close to daylight, we'll uh, show you what we find along the way. All right, so here we are in Tamaqua. I'm shooting this for reference. It's really kind of too dark uh, to see much, but whatever the camera might be picking up, um, there's no snow here. We are down in the valley. We are about 825 feet right here where we are. And uh, it did not snow much at all. There was a little bit of slush in my backyard, but otherwise uh, there is no snow down here. A couple miles up the road, we're gonna start seeing some snow probably. And by the time we get up on 81, it might be an inch or two, maybe three inches of snow up there. I don't know. Um, this was an elevation dependent system, so. We might see snow uh, in a couple, you know, we're not trying to stop now, we'll slide the trailer. Um, might see some snow uh, on some of the ridges out that way, I don't know. Um, I don't know where the snow is going to be, I just know definitely on 81, but whether it's going to be uh, down in any of the valleys out that way, I have no clue. We might be able to uh, see stuff like ridge tops that are white and valleys that are green. But like I said, down here we did not get any snow. It was mostly a rain event. A uh, couple of flakes mixed in, enough to slush up the grass just a, a little bit, but otherwise uh, nothing. So we'll turn it on further along the way and uh, show you where it did snow. All right, as we climb up the hill here at 81, the snow is getting deeper. I thought I was, I, I was going to wait until uh, we got a little more daylight, but uh, you can see that the plows had to uh, push some snow here and a little bit of a ridge row, so uh, snow plows were out. It's deep enough up here to plow. Somebody's going to try and pass me and push me right into that little bit of snow, and it actually is still snowing up here. Down there, it was just like a rainy mist. Up here, it's snowing. Not heavy, but it's snowing. All the trees are covered. I just have to watch this ramp a little bit. I'm sure they salted the daylights out of it, so the truck is gonna look like garbage by the time I get done today. Yeah, you should be able to see even though it's a little dark yet, all the snow on the side of the road and uh, yeah, good couple inches up here. Have to watch these bridges a little bit. It always is a different world when you get up here on 81. All the valleys can be raining, and you come up here and it could be a blizzard. So I got a laugh on uh, Thursday when I made that video last week. I mentioned the possibility of snow. I said the computer models were hinting at the chance of a snowstorm this week, early this week, but I didn't really believe it. Um, it was 80 degrees that day, and it just I didn't think we usually don't see snow this late in the year. I mean, it's April 19th today, and uh, this guy's going a little bit too slow. Um, we normally don't see snow like this. Snow, it's just a big pile up. <laughs> we don't see uh, yeah, right. snow like this after Easter, especially this late in the month, and here we are. Uh, like I said, I didn't believe it, but. I guess I was proven wrong because we got it and uh, actually still getting it yet. 
coming down pretty good. Big fat flakes coming down. Enough salt on the roads to keep them wet, but uh, in spots it's getting a little bit slushy. So coming up on the 112 Higgins exit here. Uh, each time I dip into a valley, there's a little bit less snow on the road, and then I climb up on top of a hill, and then there's a little bit more snow on the road. And like I said, probably when I drop down there into Tower City, it's going to be minimal. At least I hope so. If there's this much snow down there, I'm going to have trouble. I thought it happened, but I was wrong. I'm going to have trouble getting up out of the well if uh, there's this much snow down there, but I don't think there is. So. Anyway, we're rolling along. When we get down there, we'll talk to you a little bit more. All right, so we are down here and we are loading. And as you can see, there is snow behind me. So the snow did get down into the valley out here at Tower City, but uh, not as much as up there on Interstate 81. Like I said, they got about three, four, maybe in some locations, five inches of snow. But here, um, only maybe about a slushy inch or so. And by slushy, I mean... <laughs> Let me turn around here and look at this driveway and that's all it is is a slushy muddy mess but we're good we're down here we're loading and uh, see how the rest of the day goes I don't know what it's going to be like up to Sunbury they might have got more snow out here to depend on the track of the low if the track of the low was inland just far enough that's why we only stayed rain in Tamaqua but out this way they did get some snow and of course elevation was key in this whole thing like I said late season snows usually are all right so the further west we go the more snow there is even though uh, we had a lot of snow up there in 81 um, even down here in the valley, there's a lot of snow on the western side of 81. 81 must have been the cutoff between snow and no snow because, like I said, Tamaqua, we didn't have any snow. And down here in the lowlands, which actually could even be a little bit lower than Tamaqua, they have uh, quite a bit of snow, uh, even more than Tower City. Like I said, the further west I'm going, the more snow there seems to be on the ground. So, rather interesting. Uh, thing like I said on, Friday, on Thursday I didn't believe we were going to see this I've seen it in the past where the computer models show crazy snowstorms late in the season and we don't get them but uh, we got this one <laughs> at least some of us did I didn't personally get it at my house but you see what it looks like out here these people did alright so we are between pillow and mandata Climbing this hill here, when we get up to the top, we'll see if the school zone is flashing. I don't know. Um, I went through Loyalton, the school zone lights weren't flashing, so they must not have had school today. Watson Town splash up my windows a little bit. Um, and then once we get up the top of the hill here, we'll see what we got. But yeah, it was definitely plowable snow out here. Like I said, this isn't high country. This is uh, relatively low land. And uh, they definitely got a plow. They definitely got a plowable snow because you can see that they dropped the blade and pushed the snow off the road. You can see where the uh, piles kind of are. People plowed their driveways in parking lots. So, uh, got a fairly decent amount of snow out here. That nope, school zone is flashing. I don't know if they're in session or not. I don't see any vehicles here, but the school zone is flashing. So they're slower down, just in case a cop is around. So yeah, it was quite an interesting Easter weekend. Easter was cold. We actually had snow showers Easter morning, and then it kind of was partly cloudy in the afternoon, but it never got over 45 degrees. It was kind of blustery and felt more like Thanksgiving than it did Easter. And, and of course, you see what we have here today. 
um, what was a pretty decent snowstorm. Had it had been January, we probably would have got 12 to 15 inches of snow because it was pretty wet. I got one and three quarter inches of rain. I guess I didn't get any snow at my house, but I got one and three quarter inches of rain, which if it would have been an all snow event, would have been a, a significant one. But as it is for this time of year, this kind of snow is significant. Ah, just went by Meckley's Limestone Quarry. Now we're coming down here to Mandata. I'm going to branch down there. Whoa, that's, that was a low branch too. You got to watch that. The snow on these branches is heavy, wet snow. I whacked my CB antenna a few times already. Hope I didn't break it. It seems to still be receiving, so uh, we shall see. But. Yeah, they got a good amount of snow here. You'd think it was the middle of winter. If it wasn't for some of the trees having green leaves on them and whatever grass is poking through, the snow is green. That's the only giveaway and the sun angle. It's a much higher sun angle now than uh, January, so. All right, now we get on 147 here. And head up through Herndon. So I guess all the way to Sunbury, they got snow. ED1 was to cut off. There's a snow plow now, a little snow in his blade. <laughs> he been plowing. And he's got a full load of salt too. All right, so we are here and we are delivering and I'm using a different camera and the light um, it doesn't do as well with the uh, lighting as my phone does, but I want better audio, I think, which is more important. So uh, using this different camera, but we're up here delivering this first one and I'm not sure if we're going to bring a second one up here today or not like we were scheduled to. It all depends. Uh, silo is at 49,000 gallons and it's a 60,000 gallon silo. So if I bring two up, that's... Uh, about 12,500 so we'll be uh, overflowing the silo by about 1500 gallons so uh, don't know if they're gonna take one today and one tomorrow if we're just gonna skip one of the loads or if we're gonna bring them both up we we'll just have to wait till the uh, plant manager decides uh, the course of action so uh, normally and uh, we were scheduled for two loads up here and one in Allentown but it may be one load up here and two to Allentown we shall see I will let you know when I uh, find out. All right, so how this is playing out is we did one load out to Sunbury and uh, we're gonna do one load to Allentown and when we get down there, we're gonna see uh, if it's jammed up or if it's uh, running good. And if it's running good, then we'll go get a third load from somewhere and take that back down to Allentown. If it's all jammed up and I sit there for half the day, then it's only gonna be two loads. Um, that's the game plan, that's uh, what we worked out between the customer out there and uh, my boss. Um, they don't want to overflow the silo on them so they're going to run a couple loads of water tonight um, and run the silo down a little bit so they can take their uh, next load tomorrow without overflowing. And then uh, we should get back to a normal routine uh, after that. I uh, don't know what the deal is, why the silo was so full, but I mean, we're only taking six loads out this week because yesterday I was off. But they must not have run a lot of water uh, last week that they didn't pull the silo down far enough. So that's what we're doing. You see uh, the sun's out now, but we still got plenty of snow behind me there. Um, should start melting off and the sun's strong right now. Like I said earlier, it's a uh, August strength sun when you get to the end of April so uh, it's a summer sun even though uh, we've got winter conditions right now so the sun should start working on this snow and melting a lot of it maybe not all of it but most of it um, tomorrow should be uh, looking more like spring again and towards the end of the week we're gonna be up in the 70s again so um, things are gonna get better 
<laughs> I just got to get through this. Um, didn't really expect to see an accumulating snow this late in the season, but uh, we got one. Like I said, not at my house. Uh, I got fortunate I didn't have to shovel or clean the Jeep off or anything, but once I got up to 81 and points west, um, they got a pretty decent snow, anywhere from one to four or five inches, depending All on the right, elevation. So we are between Pine Grove and Fort Indian Town Gap, and as you can see, we have left the snow behind us. We have left Old Man Winter behind us. It is uh, back to spring-like looking conditions, which is a good thing, because I don't like snow. So uh, I'd rather not see it anymore until uh, this upcoming November when it belongs, not now anymore at the end of April. So uh, 45 degrees out, partly sunny. Um, I-81 and uh, that high ridge top up there must have been kind of like the demarcation zone to uh, snow to no snow line. And uh, anything west and north of I-81 got snow and anybody south and east of I-81 except for probably the Poconos they got snow but uh, where I live and down towards Allentown and down this way no snow so anyway 10 35 a.m. we got about an hour to go till we get to Allentown we should get there between 10 30 and or 11 30 and quarter to 12 and we'll see what we got when we get there, if we have to sit and wait and unload, or if we uh, can get right in and get right out. And that'll determine whether we go and get a third load today, or if we just call it once we're done with that second load. And if we can get back early enough, maybe wash the salt off this truck, because it kind of got salted up again running up there in the snow country this morning. So, uh, to clean it up a little bit, if we have time. All right, so we got that third one, our second one delivered, and we're heading up for our third one. We got right in there and uh, able to get right on the unloading pad and able to unload right away. Uh, silos were not full, and there was plenty of room to put the water in. So we were able to unload right away and get rolling, so we're going to go up and get a third one. And it got really super windy. I don't know if my microphone picks up the wind noise that's blowing through this truck. It's not the uh, quietest truck in the world when it's windy out. And we're driving right into the wind and you can really hear it, at least on the personal level you can really hear it. Um, whether or not the microphone's picking it up, I don't know. Now I was thinking about washing this truck when I got back at the end of the day. But if it's this windy out, I'm gonna get soaked because it's just gonna swirl around where we wash it and all that spray is gonna come back at me and it's a little bit too cold to be getting wet. Um, summertime, you don't mind that so much because it feels good, but at 45 degrees out with a 30 mile an hour wind, getting wet is not gonna feel good. So uh, the jury's out on whether I wash this tractor or not. I ain't washing the trailer because I got a feeling that before the end of this week, I'm gonna be taking it down Lancaster and swapping it out. So I'm not gonna wash it just to get rid of it. But uh, I get half a chance I'll wash the tractor up because it's a little bit salty. Um, not as bad as it could be, but it's a little bit salty and I'd like to wash it off, but I am not gonna freeze or get sick doing it. So we will see if the sun comes out and the wind dies down, then maybe, but as of right now, <laughs> the way that wind's blowing, I think it's gonna be a, a pass and we'll do it maybe tomorrow. We shall see. But we're going up getting that third one and hopefully uh, we don't have to wait there to get loaded and uh, then we'll come back down and unload it and see where we stand. Alright, so we decided to come up here to Hazleton and get this load. And we are loaded and we are ready to roll back down to Allentown. Had plenty of time. Whoa, a little muddy, we're sliding. Had a little bit of time, so uh, came up here instead of going into the closer well. 
and make a little more money when we come up this way. So uh, I'm not a big fan of coming up here because you got to roll bounce through Tamaqua and uh, deal with the traffic in there. But you make a little more money coming up here. We had plenty of time to do it because it's only 121 now. We're loaded heading back down there. It'll take about an hour or so to get down there. It'll be 2.30 when we get there, unload and be done with our day. You see they got a little bit of snow up here not as much as uh where we were this morning but they got a little bit uh some of it probably melted off but man eh, they might have got an inch but it made the road here muddy usually i can spin around after loading there and not slide like i did a little bit greasy It was just flurrying and the wind were gusting. It had to be about 40 mile an hour because I opened the door to walk out of the building and uh, almost got knocked out because it pushed it right back on me again. <laughs> um, so that wasn't fun. Like I said, I was giving serious thought to washing this truck when I got back, but not with these kind of winds. Um, it can wait another day. It's not that filthy. It's dirty, but it's not that dirty that it can't wait another day. Still flurrying a little bit, but that wind is just nasty. All right, so we are back at the yard. We are done for the day. All we got to do is put some DEF fluid in this thing and finish up the paperwork, and then we're going to head on out of here and go home. Uh, put this stuff on the computer and then... Uh, Maybe work on it during the week. Try and get it up before the weekend. So, all right. We will talk to you in the next one.